Hello everyone and welcome back. Hi! Uh, so I'm like half following a tutorial and half just winging it. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Um, so right now I am working on Laura's wings. I have four pieces of uh, foam cut out into a wing shape and uh, I made a pattern with it to, to to you know cut this out I didn't freehand this um but what I did for the pattern was I have just um a roll of this is actually my pattern here it's a roll of um like packaging paper and I just use that to make my patterns uh, I basically laid it out I drew a bat wing shape referencing the image. She has four little dippies, little bat wingy membrane part thing <laughs> down. And then I basically took a selfie, insert right here, that I then measured compared to my body because I wanted to make sure that they're not too big and not too small because um, they are kind of large wings but I need to make them smaller so I can actually walk around the convention center although I probably won't be wearing these the entire time because I'm sure they will get very annoying very quickly so right now I'm at the point where I am heating up my glue gun and I have some E6000 where I, I, I have more than this I promise this is not a lot um, but I'm going to glue down this wire now this wire is conduit wire I believe it's this this is what I bought I got that from Lowe's it is 12 gauge wire it comes on a spool I have 50 feet did I read that yes 50 feet I have 50 feet of it I do not need 50 feet of it but you know what wire doesn't go bad Unless you're using it for electrical stuff, and then yes, yes, wire does go bad. Um, but in my case, it does not. Um, I already did have 12 gauge wire, uh, but the 12 gauge wire I had already is this stuff. This is just regular floral wire that I got from Michaels, and the difference is like massive considering that this I can bend super easy with my hand, and like this will fall down. Even though this is the same gauge as this, um, this is much more difficult to bend with my bare hand. So I think that this is just made out of like aluminum while this may be like steel or something. It doesn't actually tell me what it's made out of. This is just solid wire versus the stranded wire. And so that that's what I needed. I needed something that is thin enough to give me the little veins and stuff as well as help hold up the wing and then I need it thick enough where it will be able to support not only the foam wing which I mean this stuff would hold but I gotta decorate this so right now I am again just heating up my glue gun I have one long continuous piece sorry for the mess it is con crunch time I have one long continuous piece for my uh, wings. This is just going to go into the back. It's going to slip down into my corset on the back like this. I will be attaching two more pieces. I didn't know how wide it was going to be. I'm missing my corset is real, real dumb looking. So I have a zipper on the back instead of lacing because it laces in the front and it's very weird but I didn't know how wide it I needed to be, so I made sure I added extra down here. That way I could stretch this out and make it farther apart if I needed it to. But for right now, it's like that, um, just because my room is small and it's a disaster. But I will be adding another piece that comes down here that is gonna be one piece, and it's gonna slide into the boning of my corset which I have right so as I said my corset is in pieces still it is not done but um, look at the inside of my ugly corset this right here is like really thin PVC pipe this is I believe it's a quarter inch PVC pipe just a quarter inch PVC pipe you can see that it's oh 
Hello. Um, so it's gonna slide in there on the back, and then it's gonna. This is where um, the wings are gonna be supported from. Hopefully, this works out. Um, I had seen a couple of tutorials on how to do something like this, where you're hiding the uh, where the wings attach to you in through a corset rather than having straps on your back because then the straps are visible. Uh, but the thing is with Laura is that this part only has lace in the front. There's no actual extra piece here, the center piece. So I'm not quite sure if <laughs> this is gonna hold up. <laughs> this whole costume's a disaster, you guys. I'm a mess. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to get started by gluing this down, and I will be right back. Alright, so, as you can tell by the lights, time has passed. So, I end up have to, I'm gonna have to put another wire. I have this side all finished, um, for the most part. I just gotta put the second layer on and all that, and then I can start decorating it. But, as you see here, I have to put in one more wire that comes down. And then I have to put in a, a third wire that comes down. Um, and I have to do it on this side still. Because, as I learned, if I lift this up, hopefully I can actually get it up, it just kind of sinks. So, the wire isn't strong enough to hold it, which I had a feeling it wouldn't be. However, if I do it this way, and I'm holding it up right. Look at that. I've got a bat wing. This will this will definitely support. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll last. I again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't have intentions of wearing this the wings all day. Um, they're mostly for photos. So like when I do my photo shoot with Yay, because I love them. And then uh, when I go j get judged for craftsmanship, and of course when I do my rehearsal and the actual masquerade, I will have the wings on. But when I'm just walking around the con, I will not have these <laughs> because these are already so big and I hate taking up a lot of space. Um, so I'm very worried about accidentally hitting somebody with my wings and I don't want to do that. So. Um, let's go ahead and continue. I also have to, um, if you see here, there's this bend in the wire. Uh, that way I, uh, the wings are angled up. And of course, it is hot glued right now, so the wire is coming out. Um, I will be using the E6000 to glue it down more permanently. Um, the hot glue is just kind of the temporary glue base and of course it's super super duper messy um, so I will cover all of that up with the E6000 and then the second layer trying to get it as smooth and neat as possible that way I can get the the ribs of like the boning for the wings um, and then I can have like the separate membrane of the fat wing and I also just an artistic choice I didn't want it to come all the way down I feel like that would be a little weird, um, but Laura's wings, picture here, 
Pikachu here. Um, Laura's wings uh, aren't actually only have like the little bone part, like only like for this much. And I thought that would look kind of weird, so I did the whole, the whole bone rather than just like yoink right there. So let's go ahead and do the two layers of wire here and let's see how it goes. So I'm stopping here for the night. Um, I still have all of this to still glue down and seal together. I only got half of it done on this side, although I'm probably going to do some more layer of glue. But I ended up using um, contact cement, which is actually not really good for you to use inside. I do have a window open over there, but of course the fumes are getting to me at this point because I have finished one wing. I need to finish this one. Um, so, but I have to wait until I get more of this stuff to actually, you know, glue it together and, um, seal it up. That way I can start doing the next step. And the next step is to spray it with Plasti-Dip. I hate Plasti-Dip, but I need to spray it with Plasti-Dip so I can seal it and then I can paint these suckers. And then I could finally start decorating them. Yay! Okay, so um, I've sprayed my wings, both Blasted Dip and um, spray paint so they have a nice black coat on top of the black plastic dip on top of the black foam wings. I think they're gonna be black. <laughs> um, I do have to wait until tomorrow before I can actually spray the purple onto the inside of the wings. Um, but in the meantime I am going to make bows because she has three bows on her wings. She has um, a pink bow with a black frill on the edge. Then she has uh, a purple bow, or not a purple bow, but the plaid um, bow that matches the uh, the skirt and like the headband and everything, the plaid that's everywhere. Uh, I have to do that. And then she has a small blue bow, but there's like no blue anywhere else on her cost or her outfit. So I'm like, where does this go? Why is this here? We don't know, but that's fine. So, um, once I have that, 
then I have to wait until tomorrow to actually you know do the spray paint and then let that dry and let it settle enough where I can bring it inside and do the measuring and then add the chains and hopefully I can finish the wings up tomorrow um, I do have to finish my waist cincher still too that way I have a place to actually put my wings on my back oh I also have to make the little diamonds that are at the top of her wings the little claw things that are like little diamonds I don't know what they are but uh, I definitely need to make those so I can't forget about that all right so let's get started and make those bows Alright, so I have my completed little bows. So this is the biggest one, the pink one. Um, it has the black lace on the edges. And then I got the smaller one, which uh, <laughs> I kind of stopped recording like halfway through because I realized that I was making them too small. And I was making them the size that these little blue ones should be rather than the ones that these size should be. Um, but I basically made it the same way as I did this one, except I didn't have the second little bottom piece. It's just the one little bow. And then this uh, is just blue satin ribbon that I've had for years now. Um, and I just hot glued it together because I got tired of sewing and this would be really difficult to sew. Uh, with that, the next step would be tomorrow, once I have my wings spray painted purple in certain spots, I can go ahead and glue these guys on and I can add the chains and the charms and all the stars and stuff and hopefully that means they'll be done. Hopefully. <laughs>
Okay, so I don't know if you can really hear me because the wind is super bad. Um, of course, I do know that you're not supposed to spray paint on windy days, but uh, it's been nothing but windy because that's what fall is for me. And uh, today is my only day off to do this. Um, so I do have my wings. They're nice and purple with the black little outline. I'm not going to spray paint the back, even though her the back of her wings are more like an indigo color than a black color. Um, a lot of the a lot of the stuff on her costume that is black that I made black is actually more of that indigo color, but I felt like that would be too much purple and not enough black, so I just made it all straight black. So that connects there. Um, but. We're just gonna slip this out here and let this dry. And then we are gonna go and add all of the little fun details, like the bows and stuff. Hopefully this dries evenly. I do know that I am not good at spray painting. I'm not good at it. I'm just not. I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, but uh, the reason why I went with spray paint rather than just plain acrylics is because I wanted that gradient which I obviously struggled with. Um, but it looks good otherwise. I just gotta let this dry and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I will see you in the next clip of me adding stuff to this. show you the process of doing the back because it's the exact same thing as doing the front except it's just the stars there's no chains on it and there's no bows um I'm trying to get this done because tomorrow is Friday <laughs> and this is when the video is supposed to go up so hello <laughs> I am suffering so um Basically with these wings, I'm pretty much done. I just have to do the back. I have to get a couple more charms. I have a bunch of these, um, just enough to actually go on my costume. I was worried that they were kind of small and they are kind of small, especially compared to like the reference images and stuff. Um, but unfortunately that's like the biggest size music note that I have found and I had to buy it online. 
so we're we're doing just fine um but i just have to wait for the bows to dry for the glue to set enough where i can flip it over and do the other side i'm going to wait until these stars are um all nice and dry and then i'm gonna gloss them that way they're all nice and shiny like the gold ones because they're all the same button I just needed silver ones, and for whatever reason, they didn't have silver star buttons, which is fine. So, with that, I will see you guys next week for my pre-Necocon video. Bye guys! See you later!